All right, good morning. It's the morning of the Caballo Blanco. It's the reason we're all down here. I have my shoes on, coffee in hand, bib on. Pack, packed, and I'm ready to go. I'm excited about this. Welcome to the Caballo Blanco, a 50 mile race through Mexico's Copper Canyon. Stay in the back and just keep moving. Ready or not, suddenly we're off. <laughs> and as Christopher McDougall writes, the crazy quilt of mismatched faces, bodies, and costumes behind the starting line, we all burst onto the trails. Runners from around the outside world meet the Raramari, or Tarahumara, the running people, in an epic showdown of speed, agility, and endurance. As the sun rises from behind the canyon walls, the heat takes hold and the true adventure begins. Whether running in hirachis, the sandals made from tire tread and a strap of leather, or the best top-of-the-line sneaker, these hills, this incline, it's not for the faint of heart. Gracias. Say we're about 18 kilometers in. Feeling great. There was a bit of a couple miles that were um, single track, pretty much directly uphill, all rocks and whatnot. Started to feel it a little bit, but feeling good. Try to remember the Caballo's advice. Lesson number one, don't fight the trail. Take what it gives you. Lesson two, think easy, light, and fast. Start easy, work into making it look effortless. Accomplish those two, and you'll get the fast. I'm not quite sure how far I am. Far enough. We're about to head about five miles, straight up here, up there. Video. Having moments, gonna step aside. <laughs> Just beyond the halfway point, actually a bit more than that. I've had some serious cramping, holy. Mm. But I'm gonna treat myself to a few minutes up here. Rest up a little bit, fuel on and go. Oh, quads. Um, that's some wind. And that over there was one of the most intense climbs. Yeah, one of the most intense climbs I've ever done. It's okay. Got about 16K left. Bam! There comes a point in every race where you have to remind yourself, just relax into it. So I think I've got about five, uh, six miles left. Been out here for uh, going on 10 hours. Started as a pack. It's just me. Oh, okay. Oh, there's the bridge. That means a mile and a half from home. We like that. Um, I haven't been doing too much running. It's been more or less a. I can't even say a gentle slog. Just a slog. But we're getting there. I can hear the sounds of the finish. 
changed. And one more time I've learned, remembered, been reminded, slow and steady wins my race. All right, let's jog this in. He's at the end of his race. <laughs> the finish line awaits him at the cat there. Let's do it! Oh! Hot food! All of it, all Everything of the above. Here we go. Oh, that's it. Oh, Finished! Finito! Mm. Mm. I think I'm feeling <laughs> That just happened. All of that. All of it. What a day. What a day. Still some runners finishing. Oh, oh fuck. I must stop swearing. This should be family appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, it feels good. Okay. Rest and shower. Kara finished. She did. Walking her back. Oh. Shower. We're gonna get food. So tonight we want to celebrate Mama Tita her family and you runners who my grandma mama tita consider you as her family as well Micah explained to both my grandparents the idea of running with the tarahumaras and he he was decided to achieve it so my grandparents helped we made this acknowledgement for my grandma mama tita and you could see it here on the right side of the restaurant after the race we not only celebrate our accomplishments, but those who made this community possible. The man and legend, the Caballo Blanco himself, Micah True, Mama Tita, Barefoot Ted, and all those Moss Locos that year after year continue to make the pilgrimage to Eureka. Good Monday morning. Here we are at Eureka Airport. What an incredible trip it's been. And I fully expect this to be an epic flight of canyons. And so I leave the Copper Canyons fully inspired by what Christopher McDougall calls the real secret of the Tarahumara. That is, they've never forgotten what it feels like to love running. I can honestly say it was the culture, the people, the natives running by me that were so inspiring that kept me going. Just incredible people. The spirit, the joy, it's infectious. Yes. They remembered that running was mankind's first fine art. Our original act of inspired creation. Way before we were scratching pictures on caves or beating rhythms on hollow trees, we were perfecting the art of combining our breath, our mind, our muscles, in the fluid self-propulsion of wild terrain. And when our ancestors finally did make the first cave paintings, what were the first designs? A downward slash, lightning bolts through the bottom in the middle, and behold, the running man.
So there you have it. The Caballo Blanco Ultra Marathon. 50 miles of ultra distance running through Mexico's Copper Canyons. One of the greatest adventures of my life so far. I'm curious, what's the greatest adventure you've challenged yourself to attempt? Traveling to Eureka, running the Caballo Blanco, was inspired by the best-selling book, Born to Run. Has there been a book or a story that has inspired you to action? Or is there an adventure you're still aching to do? Let me know in the comments down below. And friends, if you've enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, entertaining, helpful in any way, please consider subscribing. Tap that button down below. It helps me figure out what's working and it helps grow our community because building community, sharing our journeys is the best adventure of them all. Until next time, thank you so much for joining and I will see you back here soon.